Lexi and welcome back to my channel on ice and if you're new here hi hello um welcome today we're very festive because it is vlogmas day one I'm so excited for Christmas today is not December 1st unfortunately it is November 28th but you know what I'm filming it because I want to be able to get this out on December 1st so we started we have our precious snowflakes and we have our hot cocoa here and today's video is going to be 15 wishlist ideas for figure skaters. So um, all of these are gonna range from different price ranges. So some of it will not be cheap and some of it will be expensive, but some of it will be pretty cheap. I mean, cheap as you can get them. But yeah, so hopefully this fits everyone's kind of price range and uh, this helps everyone out for if you know a figure skater or if you're trying to give away, or if you're just a figure skater and you need some ideas put on your Christmas list this year, here you go <laughs> let's get started okay so the first gift idea is hip pads now these are a little bit on the more expensive side I think you can get a good pair on Amazon for like 40 or 50 bucks um, especially if you're in the higher levels when you're doing your doubles and um, even just singles really um, I asked for hip pads this year I do not have a pair but I do need a pair because I am learning my axle soon um, so I do want to have a pair of hip pads on me just in case I fall and it prevents bruising and I've heard from a lot of people that they're very nice even if you're not in a high level so yeah hip pads are a good one like I said you can get them on Amazon for 40 or 50 bucks um Amazon's really the only place that I looked but you can probably find them online used too used might be cheaper but yeah they're just little um shorts that have like pads on them sides of them and you pull them over your leggings or whatever you're wearing and they help prevent bruises and ouchies on your hips on the ice <laughs> next idea is more on the cheaper side um you can get them skate guards or soakers soakers are pieces of fabric that like are usually stuffed a little bit and you use those to um, put on your skates when you're storing them so that all the water um gets onto the soakers and doesn't stay on the blade however skate guards are plastic things and they are used to walk around in the ice in them now i actually asked for new ones this year i have some downstairs but i'm not gonna grab them i have soakers and skate guards but you can look at the pictures i put up um these are pretty cheap you can find them at your pro shops in the rinks or you can get them on amazon you know whatever um there's also ones that are scented there's ones that light up <laughs> I mean, the little kids seem to have fun with those. And so, yeah, those are really good. And eventually, skaters will rip holes through them. So, like my soakers, they're all torn up. So I need a new pair, actually. But, um, yeah, that's a new idea. Um, and I'm sure if you got them soakers, they'd be very happy. <laughs> I put candy canes in my hot chocolate, and now I'm finally starting to taste the candy canes. Mmm, okay. <laughs> The next one, the third item, is also kind of cheap unless you want to get them like, you know, more expensive. But you can get your skater blade wipes. I think that's what they're called. I think they're called chamois, but I'm not sure. They're basically, or you can get them a towel. Like, I mean, I don't know. You can customize it too, so it says your name on it. You basically just get a little towel and you can, it's used to wipe your blades off after you're done skating so that they're dry and they don't get rust on them. And, you know customize i know some people that have their names on it or they have like little skaters on them the one that is like more of a stocking stuffer but you can still get them is tissues we always take tissues on the ice because our nose runs a lot and our spins and yeah no figure skater ever has enough tissues so. and or you can get them a tissue box i know there's some cute like instead of like the, the cardboard ones like in the packs you can get like actual funny ones like my, one of the skaters at my rink during um, Thanksgiving, he had a, a turkey um, tissue box, which I thought was hilarious. But anyway, yeah, you can get like cute little tissue boxes and stuff. I don't know, that's weird, but you know, it's another good gift. Fourth idea that is more on the expensive side, again, is a rink tote. Um, I knew some people wear mini backpacks on the ice. I personally do that because I don't have a tote yet. Um, but ring totes are really cool because they carry your water bottle and they're just little tiny purses slash bags and they carry your water bottle and your headphones and your journal, your skiing journal and anything you need, your tissues to take on the ice with you. And um, I found some on Amazon for like 
50 or 60 bucks so yeah it kind of is on the more expensive side but not really too bad a rink tote and you can get them on all cute little colors and you can add keychains on them and then my list is a zuka bag or a suitcase so basically just something to take to the rink um i know some people people use as luggage um to put their skates in i personally use a zuka bag but um yeah some people use luggage to put all their stuff in um and they usually put locks on there too um but zuka bags are nice because they're made specifically for skating and they have um, a stool on top that you can sit on in case the ring is full maybe and there's also like little pockets and sides and you open up your main compartment and there's your skate area you can get is a notebook or a planner um or in general like an actual figure skating journal that's dedicated to it um we take journals on the ice so we can track what we did on practice sessions and you know coaches notes and um things like that, things we have to work on. But it'd be nice to have a planner too, to see, you know, you can mark down your competition dates, you can mark down your practice times, you can mark shows that you have, whatever it may be that you're, you can mark down meetings, um, whatever it may be. So the next idea is water bottles. Um, water bottles are really good um, on the ice and especially therm, therm, thermos ones. I don't know how you say that thermos ones because you can put hot tea or hot chocolate in there and that's nice but I personally like to stick with iced water on the ice I know it makes no sense but ice water on the ice <laughs> it's nice to have and sometimes you need a new one but who knows I think yeah that's another good idea another good idea that is probably more on the expensive side is a spin board I'm not sure how much you can get them off Amazon for but I'll link some down below in the description everything down below in the description on Amazon um, but you can also just search spin board. Yeah, I have a spin board. It's really nice. I love using it for off ice spins and it's really great. The next idea is a yoga mat. We all need yoga mats for our off ice and just when we're stretching off of it. And, um, personally I have a purple one, but it's dirty. So I asked for a new one this year. Um, with that, I'd recommend getting like a strap carrier so you can hook it onto your bag or just sling it over your shoulder really easily kind of hard when you have to roll it up and hold the rolled up thing so yeah that's a good idea so this next one is more for coaches um but a bluetooth speaker is helpful on the ice um especially if you're coaching a big class or if you're just a coach and you want to run through your program with your student um bluetooth speakers i think all coaches have them but <laughs> um but bluetooth speakers are also nice for um skaters themselves because sometimes <laughs> they want to be annoying and play their music, but it's fine. Um, I personally have the um, JBL speaker. It's the little small one and it's Bluetooth. And it's really nice because it's small and I can take it places and it has a handle on it too. Um, Bluetooth headphones. Skaters need to be able to listen to their music whenever they're going through programs. And sometimes uh, I know some skaters who take their phones and hold it up to them when they're skating which is not good and sometimes you can't go over the overhead speakers sometimes sessions get really busy so uh it's good to just have headphones so you can play your music on repeat and just practice with the music in your ears i um asked for was stretch bands uh stretch bands are really good especially on the ice for when you're trying to make sure your arms are in the right place um you should get ones that are actually stretching out when you hold them like this personally i do not have a pair but i do want some on the ice because I have used them and they're really helpful actually and you put them behind you basically and they help pull your arms in whenever you're pulling in for a spin or a jump stretching them um Beelman stretches and stuff it's really nice to have the bands to stretch your legs and stuff foam rollers is the next idea um foam rollers are really good when we're stretching and need to roll out our muscles I personally like textured foam rollers, however I don't have any right now and you can get all sorts of foam rollers you can get ones that go into your hip um, you can get ones that go into your adductors, you can get ones that, you know, are really good for smaller areas, you can get ones that are good for backs, stuff like that. Um, but it all just depends on the skater and what they like in their foam rollers. Some people like the complete flat ones, which is what I have. Personally, I don't like that for my back at least, because I can't, like, get in there. Um, it also just feels really weird on my spine, so I personally like textured foam rollers. Last but not least, my final gift is skating clothes. Um, yeah, we need athletic clothes when we're skating. Um, personally, I asked for some skating pants this year, specifically the pants that cover your boot. 
um, so your boot doesn't get as like all scratched up when you fall and stuff. And then also some shirts because it's nice to have ventilated shirts or vests. Um, I asked for a vest too this year, keeps your core warm and it's really nice to have some a wide variety of skating clothes because sometimes you don't feel like wearing same thing over and over again. The end of my 2022 wish list for figure skaters. <sighs> Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, comment down below if you'd like me to make different video requests. I also have a new series coming out called How to Start Skating, How to Start Figure Skating, so stay tuned for videos in that category as well. And yeah, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.